Hi everyone, welcome back. My video today is actually going to be a reaction to my old um, haul video that I did when I just before I started my first year of uni. Obviously, I've graduated now. Um, I get my results next week, I think, of what I got. This probably will be up the week that I get them, so I'm sure I might do a reaction video because I'm. I'm hoping that they're okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a reaction to the first uh, uni related video that I ever made. I'm pretty sure that's the first one. Um, it is also one of my most viewed videos um, on my entire channel. I think the most viewed one is the actual room tour, which I'm gonna react to in another video. Um, Cause I think I might just do, I'm gonna do the horn one this is going to be focusing on what you don't need for uni because I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I took with me that now I'm like why did you even buy that it was pointless you didn't need it and hopefully this will help people that are going to uni in September um or whenever and going to be living away and kind of want to know what not to buy because I'm sure even though I used a lot of my stuff my haul definitely was a very very big haul and I don't think I used everything in it and it probably wasted quite a bit of money so to prevent that from happening to other people I'm gonna make this video um I've seen other people make this video but I just thought that I would react to my own because obviously there's some stuff on I probably won't remember that I even bought and it might just be quite weird to just see myself before uni <laughs> yes yeah, so it's my second most viewed video and it always gets more views around this time of year obviously when people are buying stuff for uni um so it has 61,000 views two years ago it was made it's gonna be three that, that video is like the most special one on my channel to me because that video like kicked my channel off. I mean, my channel's not huge now, but like that was the video that got so many views. My subscriber count went from like 100 to like 2000 in the space of a month. It was crazy. Um, yeah, it was a very big <laughs> deal, that video. Definitely a uh, very special video, of course. Right, I'm going to start it now. Um, I'm kind of a nervous actually, it's really weird <laughs> to see myself and see what I was like. Um, right. Add. Now is a pink oh! Primark. This is my oh. accent. <laughs> I look so different. My hair's so different. It had like no highlights in it then. Oh my god. So strong. Oh my god, this is going to be the longest video I've ever done. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in a different place. I'm in my parents' room today because I have a lot of stuff to haul. Um, it looks like one bag at the moment. Still got these bags actually. One of them oh, broke though. This but they've is probably going to be like the biggest haul I've ever survived pretty well to be fair. Um, this is my, my hair looks so different. I tour. just. So <sighs> this is literally everything that I've bought today. I just look so different. Some of the bits that I've already had, but the majority is brand new. I My accent. On this. It's not, it's not Jesus. Brand new. I need this stuff to live. So this is everything we bought so far. There's still a few little things we need to get. We've been collecting it for a while, but I just thought I would I was quite lucky because actually because... Um, it's just too much. Um, because I had an unconditional. I knew I was going anyway. So we've been buying it for ages rather than just get to August and the mad panic. I still have that cushion, it's on my little ottoman in my room. Um, it's like a suede on the back. I, I did break a bit though, like, but the front of it's fine. I love that cushion. <laughs> my accent is so strong. I mean, maybe it sounds like that still, but 
I've still got that afro as well. That's also over there. A lot of it I have kept because my room at home, we changed to that color scheme anyway, so it was easier for me to come back and like integrate both rooms. The paper tray I never used because I literally barely ever put anything on. Um, well, I did have paper on it, but it just didn't get used a lot. I didn't need it. The things just used to get thrown into it. The little ones I did use because I put my makeup and stuff and that in them. And hair things. But then once I moved back home, they're just like hidden away in drawers now. I still have the bin, it's on the floor. <laughs> My accent is so strong, it's so weird. I also still have that, it's up on a shelf. See, these are, this is the thing, a lot of the stuff I do keep, but there will be stuff that I just really did not use enough and wasn't worth buying. It looks so dirty now in comparison to the video. I saw she brought this line out. I was like, oh my god, it's pink, white, and grey. It's just perfect. Oh my god, I'm laughing at myself. It really is weird watching the video of yourself from like two, almost three years ago because I've changed so much. I did actually use, I've still got a lot of this stuff, to be fair. I've acquired some other things since, I bought these when I was at uni. I also still have, I've actually done pretty well to be fair. Um, it's just like a grey. In terms like, of the cushions. It looks like woven. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's like it is woven. slightly like, um because I have like broken now. I don't know if you can see that there's like some of it's We're coming off. By. It's like broke a bit. Yeah, so the, so but it lasted pretty well for three years. And I've still got it. I just can't get over my accent. My I voice is so well, different. I still have that, it's on my bed right now. As you can see. Um, the bed that I have at home is a single still. I'm hoping to get a double. Or a small double, but um, I've got the double duvet from uni on my bed. And I've still got two, the two pillows, so uh, I'm waiting to get new bed. But lockdown has stopped that from happening. And that bedding, um, I still have to. Um, I literally just swap between the um, the marble and the little Victorian one. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's maybe got like a few tiny little stains on it from the three years, but other than that, they're all right. Standard fit sheets. I've still got them both, but obviously because I've got a single at the moment, they don't fit. They're just waiting for a new bed. But they were fine and they survived. <laughs> I still have that rug. The camera is literally resting on it right now. I got that in Cornwall. I really liked that rug because I was looking for one for ages because. I knew in my accommodation I was going to be having a flooring rather than a carpet, so I wanted a rug. It does collect a lot of hair though, like so much hair. I have to like squeegee it like every now and then to get my hair off of it. I use these hangers. <laughs> Still so got the duvet, like I said. Sat on it right now. A really nice duvet. 
very cozy. And the pillows I used. At the decoration side, I think I probably definitely went a bit overboard on. Because even though I wanted it to feel homely, I do think I definitely went overboard. I do still have that little pot though. It's somewhere. Yeah, it's up on my shelf. I was someone that like needed to feel comfy and like I was at home. So I do think I definitely needed those little accessories to feel like kind of comfortable rather than it be like an empty room. I do still have that as well. It's up on my shelf behind me. And I do use these pots. I've got two of them in my room with pens and one with makeup brushes in. And then there's one in the office as well. That one's in the office. <laughs> I can't get over how different I look. I mean, do I look different? I feel like I do. I mean, I need my hair done. My hair is so long and like, it's like all, all one color and like, just all the same length. <laughs> I still have that frame. I've got a picture of Harry in it this time. To be fair, a lot of this stuff, not a lot of it, but there were some items obviously that I already had that we were just like, I'll take that too, because it's familiar things. Still use those as well, have family photos in them. Still have that. Got a picture of me and my friends in it from prom. It falls off all the time though. That candle. Oh, where is it? I think I used it recently. After like three years. <laughs> That's not true anymore. I actually do like candles now. I like them quite a lot. I feel them calming. So, I've evolved. I like candles. <laughs> I still have that one. It's almost finished now. I did get a lot of accessories to be fair. I probably didn't need them all because I'd never used any of them in uni. That stationary pot I also didn't need. They went out to come for me. Um, we tried to put that to use now, we put it in the office at home, but I didn't really use it a lot because I already had pots and stuff. Well, I did put stuff in it, but I didn't really go to it and use any of the stationery that was in it. That poster is now rolled up um, under my bed. It's not in my room anywhere because I don't really have posters up anymore because I don't know, I've kind of grown out of that. But I had it up in uni in first year and then second year onwards, I haven't used it. <laughs> I was definitely still a fangirl when I was in first year. I mean, I still am, but um, I definitely was still like, I don't know, that was like the only thing I cared about. <laughs> no, not so much. I mean, I still love them, but you know. I used that actually throughout the whole of uni because I have an ensuite in first year of uni, um, and then the second two years I just put it in the community bathroom that I used. I did use those as well for bathroom stuff, but now they get used at home which is pretty good, we just tried to recycle and use everything that I bought so that it doesn't just get wasted. They still all get used, all those towels, because a towel's a towel, they're just a part of the home towels and stuff now, and if I ever move out I'll probably take them with me. I had that in first and second year um, and it broke so I bought a newer one that was smaller because it was quite big and really did get in the way 
it could fit a lot of stuff in there. And the bath mat I also only used in first year. We just now have it at home, in our home bathroom. It was pretty decent actually for what I needed it for. I did use that. Not loads, but I did use it. But second year, I didn't really use it. So kitchen stuff had way too much of. Um, I think the basics I needed and used, but in terms of like storage things, I had way too much, and I don't know why on earth I bought them. That pan has lasted me for three years and I still have it now, which is great. It's not really non-stick anymore because it got used so much and like probably not cleaned properly all the time. Um, but it was a good uh, frying pan for what I needed it for. These bowls. <laughs> I love these bowls so much. <laughs> they were my favourite thing. <laughs> I used to use them all the time. Whenever I made myself pasta, oh, I just love using those bowls. To be fair, because um, a lot of the time I would go and eat my tea in my room, they were really good if you had food that was quite wet. Um, because it meant that like I could put my plate like down in my bed and I wouldn't have to worry about anything spilling off and get my bed sheets. Because it was like a like very shallow bowl. It was genius. And I loved them, and I still have them, and they're so cute, and I, I love those bowls so much. And it's really sad, they're bowls, but um, they really did the job. And those bowls I still have too, and they were a great bunch of bowls, as bowls go, you know, Ikea, can't go wrong. Yeah, with the amount that I got, I got four um, of each, apart from the pasta bowls. But I actually only ever used two because I took this big box of kitchen stuff and I only used two of each thing and the rest of it would just get left in the box. Which in hindsight, I think I shouldn't have done. But, because a lot of it I brought back and there's four people that live in the house, we kind of have enough now. And also I was worried that like, if I only got two, I would break two things and then have to buy new completely. So... kitchen utensils I used. still have those. I loved those things actually. That one was great. <laughs> um, and even when we were cooking communally, a lot of other people used them because they were really good stuff. I loved all that stuff. Cooking spoon. I love, I love that cooking spoon. My plates. One of them got smashed. One of the big ones. Um, but the rest of them I still got, and we've just got them in our kitchen now because they're grey and white. They just go with everything, so it was kind of handy to do it that way. And mugs. I think I've got three of. I'm not sure, they do still get used, sometimes there are in the kitchen somewhere, but like I said a lot of the stuff like when I do eventually move out I will just take it with me because it's my stuff anyway. Now this is where the problem comes, because we got a lot of storage stuff and even though the big stuff I did use, the ones that were little pots, I really did not use at all. Um, those ones I used for things like pasta and stuff. Tea towels I used loads of, a lot of them got trashed and I just left them there. I kept my nicest ones. Those ones I think I kept most of. But they survived pretty well through the three years to be honest, having that amount. I don't 
remember those cloths? There was more stuff. Um, but I'll talk about that in a sec. I'm just gonna. It's so weird that was me before uni. I look just so young. screen <laughs> that's a flash from the past in terms of like what i had the majority actually i think we were pretty clever with it i got stuff that i knew i would bring him back home um and like we planned anyway after at the end of my first year well like in the middle of it i said to my mum and dad like you know i want my room at home done anyway because i had green on the walls and stuff like that and it just kind of hadn't grown up with me um and like we were like you know what what we'll do is I want to make the room the same colour scheme as what my uni stuff is so that when I come back like in the summers and stuff I can just use all my stuff in my room and it will look cohesive um and obviously the plan anyway was to come and move back home anyway once I finish my degree so we've done a pretty good job of that most of the little things and trinkets and stuff that i had they're all in my room none of them went to waste even like the paper tray that didn't really get used loads we now have in the house and the picture frames and stuff that all gets used the bedding all still gets used so i think we were very successful in that sense as well as the bathroom stuff and to be honest the majority of the kitchen stuff it's all been kept and it's just been integrated into the family kitchen and stuff and obviously if and when I do move out properly I'll take whatever's mine with me and I won't have to worry about buying loads of new stuff. Um, so that was good. Um, in terms of the kitchen stuff I do think I went a bit overboard with getting like loads of Tupperware and stuff because then it's not in the video but I've got I have like a massive set of loads of little pots that really didn't get used. It was just a bit of waste. Um, I mean, some of it gets used here now at home because we kept some of it, but a lot of it didn't get used. And then, I'm trying to think of what else. There was definitely folders that I bought at uni that I never really used. I bought a lot of notebooks that never really got used because um, I would make loads of notes on my laptop instead. I don't know, there was just like, it was odd little things really. But my takeaway from it and my advice to anyone that is going in September or is going whenever you need to obviously have a budget for yourself we didn't really have a budget but we knew like what i was going to need and like we kind of had an idea of what we wanted to spend on it look into um there's boxes i know that are online that you can get for students that like you basically just order it online it's a specific price and it just gives you a lot of the basics so it gives you like tea towels and cutlery and plates and stuff like that um if you're on a budget like look into things like that primark is a great place to go because a lot of it is super cheap um and affordable and um if you want to get things like bedding they have it there wilco we used quite a bit for the bedding i think that was where i got my duvet and my um pillows and that was i think 15 pounds altogether for the whole bedding set yeah just shop around be clever don't buy something that you think you won't actually use like you you do need to consider it especially if you're on a budget like am I actually going to use that like do I need it um but obviously if you're someone that needs to feel comfortable in the space that they're living in especially when you're just going away from home for the first time um if you know that there are things that are going to make you feel comfortable like you know having some little plants and having some candles and having some photo frames and some fairy lights and you know a similar colour scheme to your home or something like that then do it because it really does help um it helped me anyway i felt very settled in my uh, hall's um room and yeah i think that's kind of all i have to say on it it's really weird though watching it back because like that whole thing now for me is completely done like the whole experience of like moving into my uni 
halls and my uni houses and stuff now next time we move out i'll be using i'll be moving like into a proper rented flat or a house or whatever so yeah but yeah that's my advice for anyone that is going to be going into halls or just a house or whatever i hope you've enjoyed this video um if anyone's got any questions in the comments about anything relating to uni um then pop it down below i am going to be doing a uni review very soon of my whole uni my whole three year experience at the university of gloucestershire so if you're looking at going to that uni um then keep a lookout for it or if you've got any questions about the uni then pop them below because obviously you're going to be getting a result soon and that might you know affect decisions i also hope you're all keeping well um at this very strange odd time um on this planet um and you're all staying safe and you're washing your hands and you're protecting each other um and trying to wear masks as much as possible because it is really important to you know make sure we're all safe um and yeah i will put my uh social media links down below as always um and i hope you are having a lovely day and I will see you again very soon. Not ages like I always do. I promise I'm actually gonna get on the YouTubes now and you know I've kind of I've got to grips with the fact that uni is done. Um I'll react to my results for you guys. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. That was an experience.